So in Fort McMurray, uh, there is no CIS, there is no junior programs. Uh, so 2014, we uh, we actually got started, filed for a nonprofit. We're approved by the league. We presented a business case to be a part of the AFL, a part of the Canadian Major Football League, um, and we were approved and successful. First year was 2014, went four and four, lost in the semis of Alberta. Last year we went eight and one, um, and we lost in the Alberta Provincial Championship last year uh, to the Calgary Gators, and 2016's here and both to start. We kind of sat back and we had to see if we could make this happen for one, but before we could do that, we had to make sure the guys' heads were in it. Um, obviously families, financials, jobs, security, you know, and then also playing out of a new city uh, took a big effect. So we wanted to make sure we did that before we jumped the gun and folded or kept the team. So the Calgary Stampeders were first to jump on board with the help of the Calgary Gators out of our football league. Um, so they got us in contact with them. They stepped up huge with both 30 helmets, 20 pieces of shoulder pads and some other stuff. Um, the Edmonton Eskimos jumped on board um, with jerseys, game pants and gloves, which was awesome. Um, we don't have any of that at this point. And then just today, the Saskatchewan Rough Riders jumped on board with equipment also, about 20 to 30 shoulder pads and about 20 to 30 helmets also, including you know, some swag items and gloves, et cetera. So uh, everybody coming on board, plus uh, Corey Philpot, he's, um, he's part of Football BC. He came on board with some equipment also for us. So everybody's really come on board to help us and it's huge. It's very, uh, it's kind of surreal at this point. They're doing something for us that, I mean, a thank you isn't going to say thank you. It's just, it's awesome. It's very appreciative. And I mean, at the end of the day, I, I don't know at this point what I could do to say thank you to those three programs for what they've done. And then also the numerous amount of support that we've got from the community, from other avenues that maybe aren't as big as the CFL. You know, uh, last night was our first practice and really helped, you know, get, get some dust off. We haven't practiced in a few weeks and help me get focused again. I know that's... We weren't sure what we were going to do with our season at first, and I wasn't sure, but as soon as we knew we were going to start a season, like, this full go again, back in the gym, back to focus, and it's really helped. I just hope everyone can, you know, get situated, feel comfortable again soon, get some sort of a structure back in their lives again, and, um, you know, just, just move on with it eventually, and just have a positive outlook. I miss my home. I don't have a home to go home to, so it might be a while to get rebuilt and stuff, but hope our team can come through and win the season again. We're all... Well, pretty excited to get some wins in us. First game is May 28th at a Spruce Grove um, at Fuhr Field. 7 p.m. kickoff versus the Calgary Gators.